Hey everybody, this is Dr. Packard. I'm in the office today. <laughs> Taking care of some patients. We recently made a video about the colors, little circle elastomeres or single ties that go over the braces that hold the wires in the brackets and power chain and what those things are. But I wanted to give you a close up in person, the real deal of what this is. Time for some PFOing so you know where you're going. Okay, made it into the clinic. I'm gonna show you colors and power chain. Here we go. We got power chain over here, all these different colors, right? The power chain are used to squeeze spaces down. Then you have these, what we call elastomeres or single ties, little donut looking shapes that go around the brackets. All right, so here we are. I mean, part of braces are brackets and wires, and depending on the type of brackets, how special they are, you may or may not absolutely need what we call colors. And those are the pink things that go around the brackets. And those, again, depending on the bracket, can help hold the wire in place. In this case, we have special brackets at our office. One of the things that you need to be aware of, we talked about in the other video, is that sometimes the power chain and these colors can make it hard to clean. And so you have to be extra diligent in trying to get above the brackets and remove extra material. Okay, so let's show you what it's like to get these off. So we have a little scaler here and we use this instrument to get under those colors and then there it is. Look at that. One and done. And go all the way around. That's number two. Three. Four. Just like that. Easy peasy. And then they go onto the bottom and take all the colors off and then they do their orthodontic technician will do the adjustment after the orthodontist gets a chance to sit down and check it out. Okay, so we're going to remind you with special self ligating brackets they have this little clip oh do you see that little pop kind of hard to tell pop pop and pop and you go all the way around and you do all the brackets but you can see how that clip helps hold the wire in and then let's go ahead and move that wire you can move it up and down and it kind of comes out of place you see that yeah once all the doors are open then you can take out the wire completely and change the wire make your normal adjustments so then once you're all done at your orthodontic visit you have the opportunity to put colors back on or power chain depending on what your needs are okay now we've done our orthodontic adjustment and we are ready to put the colors back in remember hygiene is important those little extra ties and the power chain they can make it harder to clean around so you got to be very diligent if you've got the braces on but this is kind of how it goes so we have our instrument right here the hemostat and what you do is you grab the color and you slowly move around that let's watch another one you hear that little click 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 these are getting ready for that you pull the lip away go around around and down very nice. Sometimes these colors will come off for whatever reason. And again, if you have the special kind of bracket, then it may not be absolutely critical that you get it back on these little colors. But if you have the old school brackets where it doesn't have the clip, then if one of these comes off, then the wire could get loose. And you probably need to let your orthodontist know that you need a quick fix. When we have these special brackets, we usually don't do colors all the way around. We just do the colors in the front where people can see. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate the power chain, right? It's several links of like those single ties all together. They don't come apart, so it's a chain. You can stretch it apart and you might use the same instrument. Okay, there's the link. We get it on just like the single tie and then we start pulling it across. Boom, how does it feel? Tight. That's exactly. And you can see how when it connects compared to the singles on the bottom, see how it connects in between. Will you point out in between the brackets? See how it connects right in there versus down on the bottom. There's nothing that goes in between the two brackets as far as colors is concerned, there's a space. So that makes it even harder to clean under. So you gotta make sure that you get all the food out from there. But that is the power chain. It should feel nice and tight. Okay, I'm back in my office, was out in the clinic showing you the colors, right? The single ties and the power chain. We have so many colors, most orthodontists do. Sometimes you need those colors because your brackets are 
a certain type of bracket that need help holding the wire in and the wire and the brackets together, make the braces, and that's what moves your teeth if you're doing braces. Or you can have the power chain and that helps close spaces. The colors are, can be super fun. They can also make it harder to clean around your teeth. And if you're not good at cleaning, you could end up with some spots on your teeth, cavities or gums that are really puffy. Anyways, that's just a little bit about colors and the power chain. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about these things or your experience with power chains and colors, feel free to leave a comment below and always consider subscribing to our channel so that I can open your eyes to the wonders of straight teeth and beautiful bites. That's all I've got. Just a little PF on so you know where you're going. Pack it out.